adding and subtracting sets is just like adding and subtracting algebra. That's all. Okay, we're collecting light term. Except, you know, with sets you have to um, simplify first if needed. Okay, so um, let's let's do this question here. Now this one here. Okay, square root three plus two root three. So it's just like let's say it's just like um, x plus 2x. So what x plus 2x? 3x, right? So that's all. It's just the same. So therefore, okay, which is 3 root 2, okay, plus, I mean, root 3 plus 2 root 3, it's just like 3 root 3. That's all. Just collecting light term. Um, let's do this question here. 4 root 5, Okay, minus 5 root 3 and plus 2 root 5. Okay, we're going to look for light term, correct? Now, the light term is this, see? These are light term. So, therefore, 4 root 5 plus 2 root 5. Okay, 4 plus 2 is 6. So, 6 root 5 minus 5 square root of 3. Because it's root 3, it's no light term. So, we just write it out. Okay, this one here, of course, root 7, root 7, the light term. So 4 minus 5, it's just same as 5 minus 4, right? Except with negative, the answer is 5 minus 4 minus 5 is, um, 4 minus 9 is 5, but it's not 5 because it's 4 minus 9, not 9 minus 4. So instead of 5, we write minus 5, square root of 7. Okay, this one here. So we got root 2 here, 4 root 2, plus 7 root 2. So 4 plus 7, 11. So 11 square root of 2. Minus root 5, I mean minus 5 root 3, minus 8 root 3. So we just add 5 plus 8 is 13. So minus 13 square root of 3. Okay, so just collecting light term. Now, Let's move on a little bit more complicated than this. This one here, 5 root 3 plus root 12. When you look at it, they're not light term, right? In fact, they are light term. We just need to simplify the square root 12 first. Now, think about it. Okay, 12 is 4 times 3. Okay, and you can actually write it in a test. You can just write like that easier. So then, you know that is... This 5 root 3, I write it down first. Now, 4 times 3, right, is 12. So square root 4, it gives me 2. So your answer is 2 square root of 3. Okay, so then you add them up, because it's light term now. 5 plus 2 is 7. So 7 root 3. All right, this one here. Same thing apply. Okay, 32. So you square root um, 32 plus square root of 50. So 32, think about square number. Okay, what square number in there is 16, right? 16 times 2. Now, if you're not sure, okay, again, you can use calculator. 32, okay, 32, try, because you know that 8 times 4. But in, look, if you divide by 4, okay, divide by 4, give me 8. 8 is another 4 there, so 4 times 4. Square root six, um, 32 um, is equal to 2 times 16, all right? Because 4 here, and you've got another 8 in, 4 in 8, so two, 2 of them. So 4 times 4, 16. So which is, otherwise, you write like that. Okay, 16 times 2. This one here is 25 times 2. Always think about square number. So square root 16, okay, is 4. So you go 4 root 2, okay? This is give me square root of this, give me 4, so root 2 there. Square root 25 is 5, so 5 root 2. Then I add them together now. 4 plus 5 is 9, so 9 square root of 2. Okay, just follow this process for me. Now, 7 square root of 54, take away 3 square root of 24, so 7 is just write it down times square root 54 think about it 54 is 9 times 9 times what 9 times 6 right 
So that means time by square root 9 is 3. 3 root 6. You see? Okay, and minus. Now 24 is 4 times 6. Correct? So that means 3 times 2 root 6. Then I simplify further, of course. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 square root of 6 minus 3 times 2 is 6. So 6 square root of 6. Now it's the same now. So 21 minus 6. 20 minus 6 is 14. At 1 is 15. So 15 square root of 6. I'll just use your calculator to do the minor thing. Okay, let's move on this one. Sorry, move back. Okay. Now, 8 square root 63 minus 3 square root 28. Again, 63 is 9 times 7. Okay. And then 20, I'll do this first. Okay, so I write A first. Equal, I do slowly. 8 times square root 9 is 3. Okay, so 3 root 7. Minus 3 times 28 is 4 times 7. So that means square root of 4 is 2, square root 7. Now, 8 times 3, 8 times 3 24. Okay, square root of 7 minus 6 square root of 7. Then 24 minus 6, 20 minus 6 is 14. And then minus, and at 4 is 18. So 18 square root of 7. Okay? So these are the process. And just keep on simplifying if you cannot think of a square number or do factor 3 if needed, okay, to help you. Or you calculator and then just try to look for the square number. Now this one here. So 3 root 12 minus square root of 27. Okay, so 12 is 4 times 3. So that means uh, right here, 4 times 3. Okay, so which is 3 times square root 4 is 2, 2 root 3. Minus 27. 27 is 9 times 3. Of course, square root 9 is 3. So 3 root 3. Can you see that? So which is 3 times 2 is 6. So 6 square root 3 minus 3 root 3. Then 6 minus 3 is 3. So the answer is 3 square root of 3. There you go. Okay. Now this one here. Um, exactly the same. It's just one term extra. Okay. So it doesn't make any difference. Okay. It's the same process. Now. 40. Okay. Is a 4 and a 10. Okay. So that means 2 times square root 4 is 2. So 2 root 10. Plus 5 root 10. Root 10, I can't do anything. Five, 10 is 2 and 5. None of them are square number. So it's root 10 minus 9 times 10, right? Because it's 90. So square root 9 is 3. So it's 3 root 10. There you go. Okay. So that's equal, of course. So you can say this is 4. I'll rewrite this for you. For 4, square root of 10 plus 5 square root of 10 minus 3 square root of 10. So which give me 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. So 6 square root of 10. Okay. This one here. Sorry, I have to clear this, the answer. So some of these first. So I can you can see the question clearly. Okay. Now this one here. There's no difference to any other question, okay? It's just a number a bit bigger. So what I do, okay, 150, um, I can use calculator to do it, or I do factor tree, okay? Actually, I try factor tree for you, so you can see how it works as well. 150, 150, just keep doing it until you get it, 15 times 10, okay? So this one here, and 15 is 5 times 3, 10 as 2 times two time 5. See, 5 square root 5. You got two lots of 5 there. 5 times 5, 25. So 25 times 6. 2 times 3, 6. So 25 root 6. Correct? Then you go square root 25 is 5. So your answer is 5 square root of 6. You see? And then um, minus 2 times 
45 is 9 times 5, correct? 9 times 5. So which is square root 9 is 3. So 3 root 5. Minus 24 is 4 and what? That's right, 4 and 6. So which is 2 square root of 6. You see? Now, I just simplify a little bit more. So 5 root 6 minus 6 square root of 5. Okay? And minus 2 square root of 6. Now, these are like term. Okay? So what, what I can do is 5 take away 2 is 3. So 3 square root of 6 minus 6 square root of 5. So that's that's the answer. Let's move on. Last question here. Okay, so this one here. Let me clear this first so you can um, see the question. Now, 64, okay, uh, square root of 64 root a. I mean, 6 square, square root of 64a and square root of 16a. So it's same thing apply. Square root 64, of course, is 8. 8 square root of 8 minus square root 16 is 4. So 4 square root of 8. Okay? So that means 8 minus 4 is 4. So 4 root 8. That's all. Okay? This is how you add or, sim add or subtracting um, certs. Thank you so much for watching my videos.